I, I, I built this wall but it, it was upside down it didn't quite work and I built it again and it just fell over so I built it a third time which was good until it spontaneously caught fire which I don't think was what people really intended well hello again everybody and welcome here to yet another series of the RimWorld as requested by many demanded by Shizzy and threatened by me on a number of occasions, let's be honest here. We're on to Alpha 15 now. Unfortunately, Alpha 11 is not going to be finished. The save file corrupted and nothing I could do would get it working properly. So, sorry about that one. Let's just assume that they all got off planet and they're, you know, I don't know, drinking Buck's Fizz on a beach somewhere and a, a pleasure planet. Let, let's go with that because it, it just seems like a nice idea. Lucky's probably getting injured as we speak, but moving on. Okay, Alpha 15. We're going to take advantage of one of the new features that was brought forth in Alpha 14, which is the scenarios. Now, I've created one that I've called On Our Lonesome. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off as a tribe, so that's low technology and high technological advancement levels. We're going to start with one person. They will be at most 29 years old and... Assuming the RNG is being nice to me, they should get too smart and optimist just to balance things out a little bit. So basically, I'm going to start off playing a single smart ass out in the middle of nowhere with no resources. Should be fun. I'm going to go with rough. Um, intense ramps up the difficulty too too much. The intense is balanced out for for three people starting. It doesn't seem to work quite well enough. And next. They seem determined to kill me, so let's use Gullen as the seed and see the world we get. I quite like this one, to be honest with you. This looks good. I'm going to go down to the more temperate areas, okay? I don't want a year round growing period as we've got there. Um, and I also don't want the winter temperatures to go too low and to be honest with you that's this particular area might not be that bad so what we got here um, okay I think we can survive a longer winter than that what do we got there sixth of spring to sixth of fall so half the year is going to be yeah, that sounds about right. Temperature drop, drops down just a little bit below zero, but not terribly so. Uh, we're going to get a decent amount of... This is Britain, basically, isn't it? How nice. Okay, so mountainous forest. Looks pretty good. Let's make the uh, the play area a little bit larger. Go up to 300 by 300. And we'll select this site. Uh, okay, um... Let's have a look at our guy here. So no shooting skill whatsoever. Now that's going to be interesting. I think that might actually be a killer. Green thumb and an optimist. I think I'll go with that. Uh, ah. mm, no. I want too smart. Green thumb too smart and optimist. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, we will we will stick with this guy. Um, so he's got a reasonable growing skill. And a reasonable crafting skill, a burning passion for growing, and you'll see in a bit, I think that's going to be really useful for us. And can kind of shoot, which is probably going to help. And it's an abandoned child uh, who was born sickly, thinking that he would only burden the tribe. His parents left him out in the elements. Somehow he survived. And. Then, as an adult, Croker was an expert at working muffalo wool, plant fibres and natural dyes into beautiful clothing for his kin. His beautiful handicrafts were traded frequently between local tribes. So that's given new bonuses to growing crafting, a penalty to social, which considering the scenario seems about right to me. Incapable of nothing, which is great. The green thumb is going to be a great bonus for us, as, as is the burning passion there. Passion for crafting and construction that's going to be good passion for animals might come in useful and 
this series we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, well, a lot of other people do this, and uh, um, I'm going to go and give these uh, these people names. First of all, my patrons. Secondly, of um, people who say in the comments they want to name, and we'll start with the the mighty Wendy Mon. Wendy, you're now a male member of the tribe age 28. I hope you enjoy it. Now, one final thing before we start. I'm still uncertain about how to end this series. And I would like to give this um, the opportunity over to you guys. Please let me know in the comments how you'd like it to end. I can see three endings here. The first one is the standard one. And please excuse the airplane in the background. The first one is the standard one. We, uh, we research the tech tree, which is going to be difficult because we're playing a tribe. We build the spaceship and we blast off into the, the great unknown. The other one is we build up a colony and we amass great wealth and uh, we will win when we get up to 10,000 silver. And the third one is, is we amass uh, a nice colony and we get up to 15 people. I can't see any of those happening in the first episode so we're right so stick a comment on this one and we'll go with the most popular decision. It crashed the last time I did this. Let's give this a go. Start. I should never have said that about the witch doctor's cat. I was lucky to make it out alive. Still, it looks alright here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, right. Let's pause the game. How do you pause the game? Oh, yeah, okay. you tell me it's been a while since I played this last. Okay, so, summer. Summer has begun. But winter is coming. Your food crops won't grow in the winter cold. Be sure to store several days worth of food now while you still can. You can build a walk-in refrigeration room to prevent food from spoiling. And you can try to buy steel or make some parkers or you'll freeze when you step outside. Oh, lots of warnings there. Let's have a quick look at the map, shall we? You know, that's... That's almost worth starting in immediately, isn't it? That's a nice little area here. We can only be defend attacked from up here. That's got plenty of potential. Um, on the other hand, there's loads of food down here. That one's actually probably be better to start off with, really, wouldn't it? That little that little area there. Um, I should have a little, little, little look around here. Uh, there's a load of food on this map, which is probably a good thing. This also would work quite well. Um, only problem is if enemies come in here. Uh, yeah, that might not be quite so good. Though I do like the uh, the steam guys are there, but probably help us out a lot during winter. I don't think we've got one in here, have we? No, we haven't. But I think I'm going to go. Oh, yes, we do. One up there. Okay. I think I'm going to go with this area here. Um, this this bit is so nicely block offable. Um, we can put in. Oh, there's a bit of crops perhaps, or we can do the crops up here. There's plenty of wood. Uh, yeah, I think this is where we're gonna go go for. So how are we gonna do this? Let's start living down here and we'll start we'll do our, our farming and actually I think at the start we can get away with doing our farming down here. So yeah, I'll tell you what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get some of this area cleared here. So orders uh chop wood. Let's get some of these trees out of the way. Uh, okay, we'll probably have to clear those. Well, that's going to give us some wood to start off with. And what we'll do is we'll actually build a defense across here. Which, you know, just stop animals wandering in to start off with. I, I think, yeah, I think that's going to work out alright. What's that there? That looks like there's a little opening in there. Okay. Right, well, we're going to go with that. But before I start anything, let's build, let's uh, sort out some of these things here. So, 
yes I think that is going to work nicely here now this is a little bit different from my usual setup so let's just go through it quickly I've turned off patient and doctor um, these only really work when there's more than one person so we're not gonna worry about it we're gonna have bed rest though uh, if our guy gets uh, injured then he will go to bed and try to sleep it off um, this is important because uh, one of my first trials of this game my character ended up uh, dying through infection that came from being brutally savaged by a tortoise yeah I don't want to think about it either then then our daily routine we will hunt if required we'll grow actually let's change this so grow and plant cut will stay as one that will go to two and then these will yeah these will go up to three and the threes will go up to four so I construct that's all right mine that's all right so that will go up to four that will go up to four that will go up to four yeah that seems like a good balance there okay so right so what will happen here is right, we will grow and plant cut that will always supersede other skill uh, other other requirements that's because this is really important if there's grown crops we want them harvested as quickly as possible um, after the after the hunting and the growing is done then we want people to cook um, yeah make that yeah handle cook that's good and then after that we can construct and the this the soft skills that he's not very good at the wardening and the crafting will happen last I think that's a good balance we'll see how it goes it's probably going to need to be a tweak to a little bit so there's our start let's let's get him running and let's actually start playing the game shall we I need colonists beds hunter lacks ranged weapon these are good points where are you Wendy here you go heading down this way that's excellent okay now we think we're going to get yep yeah, there we go cutting down some trees that speed things up a little bit let's get a few trees in the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a storage area and I think we're going to put it actually let's put it in this corner here so what we'll do is we'll get Wendy here to build ourselves. Uh, let's put a wooden pillar there. And um, build roof. So we'll have a roof along here. Okay, and that will. Then we will set up that zone as a stockpile like that and we'll store everything in there there's our storage area and also I think we're gonna get a little bit of a defensive area along here so we will just put a wooden stockade like that with a door in the middle and that will see us through there so it's got getting the wood under cover or at least what will be under cover that's a good thing we've got a few fruit bushes here we will we'll get them to uh, get Wendy to collect that stuff later on there we go there's our, our column there Wendy is terrible terrible building skills so this is probably going to take a while there we go <laughs> try again uh, come on <laughs> I, I, I built this wall but it, it was upside down it didn't quite work and then I built it again and it just fell over so I built it a third time which was good until it spontaneously caught fire which I don't think was what people really intended all right there we go are you yeah there we go we're gonna put a roof on that's our basics sorted out okay let's get that roof let's give you a chance to do that all right and then let's let's start thinking let's start thinking gardening shall we okay so 
let's get a growing area here let's just get a few small growing zones here so we'll have one like that and this one potatoes are great but all I want is strawberries um, the reason for it is strawberries grow very quickly 2.65 days as opposed to if we look at the potato plant it's uh, three and if you think this is actually this is daylight days so this this doesn't count night time so that's actually six actual days growing as opposed to five so we'll get the, the strawberries a day faster which is marvelous um, so we'll go with strawberries to start off with actually Wendy can you grow Are you good enough grower uh, just one second so I have three growing zones. We will grow potatoes in that one, and we will grow. Um, I think at this point, uh, heel root might be a good one, and we've got just enough skill for it. So let's go with that. So heel root, there we go. All right. So three growing zones, Wendy. There you go. Get working on that, would you? That's marvellous. Okay, so we've got this area sealed off for the end of the day. Let's get furniture. Let's just get a sleeping spot down here. Just stick it in the corner there like that. We'll sort out something later on. I also want to make a crafting area. just a little crafting spot like that and we will set that up for we want a short bow and as soon as these plants are done I will get Wendy working on that yeah, um, Okay, nearly done. Uh, it's excellent. Okay, right. Ah, he went ahead and did it anyway. So, how are we getting on here? Will we get this done before bedtime? Because we're going to need it in the morning. And the reason we're going to need it in the morning is this guy here. This alpaca, I think, is going to be tomorrow's breakfast. Speed this up. Get on, Wendy, you can do this. Oh dear, actually, do we have. Oh, no, we, no, she couldn't. Okay, do we have any other creatures hidden in here? No, just the alpaca. Alright, well, that'll do nicely. Right. So, in the morning, we will get Wendy to finish that off and then I think go and hunt that alpaca and that will start a day off I hope. Starvation, yeah, I should imagine Wendy is getting a bit hungry at this point which is one of the reasons why we need to go hunting. Um, alternatively actually um, is there any... there's one berry bush there you go, at least you can get your breakfast off of that. Yes, one berry bush that's uh, got fruit on it, that'll do nicely. Okay. They're doing time wise. Nearly five, six. Windy will be up in a minute. No. Uh, okay, you're consuming them. Are you going to eat? You're going to eat them, aren't you? But still, Wendy will no longer be starving. Right, so are you holding those? You are holding those. Okay, get that hold. And then, yep, yeah, okay, you're working on that. I didn't have to tell you to. That's marvellous. Get that finished off. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to get you to hunt. And 
that's nearly done. Equip short bow. There we go. And let's get farming. Let's get hunting that. There we go. I don't need any alpacas going to fight back. Which is possibly a good sign because at this point you can't hit the broadside of a barn, can you? Uh, Okay, that's brilliant. Right, now, let's get corpses under here for now. Storage, corpses, animal corpses. Well, now animal corpses under there, and let's get ourselves a butcher's table made. Um, production, I think it is. Butcher table, I get out of wood. And we'll put that. We'll put that there for now, I think. And actually, let's get a bit more roof built over here. And I think while we're at it, actually, let's get a bit of roof built over here as well. That way, you're not sleeping in the rain for the first few days. Okay, that should keep you going for a bit.